Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here. I've uh, been gone for a couple weeks. Feels good to be back and today we're going to learn how to share via iMessage. How to add the functionality into your app so that people can share something in your app with their friends. So, uh, let's get started. Now, this one has four steps. Uh, that's, it's actually simpler to implement than you would think. We, uh, we import message UI, add the uh, delegate that we need. Um, we create an IB action linked up to a button to send the message. Fill out all the message data. There's you know things like text. You can send attachments, URLs, photos, whatever. And uh, complete the did finish with method for the uh, compose view controller because it's one of the like necessary protocol stubs and it's really good for error handling. All right. A uh, little little water pause there. Sorry. Uh, now we're going to uh, do the first step. Um, that's always the first step, and we're going to create an Xcode project. All right. And of course, it's going to be a single view app. Let's get this on the road. Here we go. Single view app. Call it iMessage sharing. Next, I want to save it on my desktop. All right, so we got that. Um, so for this one, I'm just going to make it real simple. We're going to go to the storyboard. We're going to have an image view that uh, we want to share and, a, uh, and the button that will do the sharing. So Let's do UI image view. And we're going to drag that on. And let me sh show you guys how I'm doing the constraints here. Going to center it horizontally in the container. And then we're going to make it, what, 200 from the top. Then let's constrain the width at 300 and make this 700. I don't know, just how long is that? Nope, not too much, too much, too much. So actually what we need to do, and this is useful if you ever need to do this, is to just click on here, bring that constant in, and the width or the height is the constant that we need to change to what 600 400 all right there we go and we're going to add a UI button and it's going to be can I say 40 from the top of that which that that's means 40 from the bottom of the image view. And we're going to center it horizontally as well. So that should be formatted properly. Um, let's change the width. Let's actually change the height to make it a little so it stands out. Change the width to 100. And I like to make it look like more of a button, so you know you guys don't have to do all this stuff, but um, just like to make it so people can kind of see that it's a button. You know, these buttons don't see it like does not look more like a button, right? All right, so we have all that stuff. Now let's do uh, step one of the iMessage. Let's get started, and we're gonna import the message UI into our view controller. message UI. There we go. And then um, we're going to add the MF message compose delegate, I believe, compose view controller delegate. It's got a long name, but um, we're going to do that in the form of an extension. And I like to use extensions as uh, if you watch my other videos, you would know um, <laughs> that I like to do extensions when I'm, uh, so yeah, MF message compose view controller delegate. 
uh, whenever I'm using a delegate because it kind of it keeps it all in one place. Um, and everything I need to perform that one feature is there, which is nice um, whenever you're scrolling. And especially if you work in a development team, you have other developers, you want to you know, have a clear path to everything. Um, so this protocol stub, we're going to get there. That's actually uh, step four. Um, so now we're going to drag our IB action and go to main storyboard, bring up the side by side, and I'll take this, we're going to drag it on in here. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to do it manually. At IB action send message. I'm going to say sender any. Oh. Yeah, that's a function. Yeah, indeed it is. Uh, so see, there it is, right there. We're gonna link that up to the button. Now, if you go in here, you can see exactly what it's linked up to, which is touch up inside, and see it says view controller send message. So uh, that's another way to link up IB actions, IB outlets to things. Um, I just do control drag, but it didn't want to control drag into an extension. Um, so yeah, let's go back to the view controller, give you guys some more screen to work with here. Um, so now we have to create an instance of the message view controller. Um, and that is view controller. So now we have that. And uh, this is all part of actually, you know, composing the message itself. So for body, that's a string. We're going to make that string whenever you check out this picture I found on this awesome app. There you go. That's you guys. That's you guys app. And uh, you're going to go to message VC dot recipients. And so here you can you can select custom recipients, which is kind of a cool feature. I don't really mess with it, um, but I put in um, a string here just for one that says recipients. I mean, not like the, the user knows, obviously, what up top um, where to put recipients. But, you know, I just want to never know, you know. I want to make it as easy for the user as possible. And uh, <clears throat> so now we have to add the image, which uh, which actually requires optionals. So I'm going to do that really quick. Uh, also, I noticed the volume was like crazy on my microphone in the beginning. Sorry about that. I hope that this is better. Um, now, in the image, we're going to do... I have, here I have a lovely picture of my dog that we're going to put in the assets. Here he is holding a stick. He's very happy, as you will be able to see better in here. There he is with his stick. Doesn't he just look like the happiest dog ever? He's actually looking at me because we'll play with it, and I'll like act like I'm going to take it. And he's like looking at me like, no. But um, so what we're going to do is link up that image view. Uh, we're going to open the storyboard in a new tab. Okay, I'm sick of jumping around. Um, and we're going to view controller and control drag over here. Let's say dog image view. Now we have that. 
and that's good. Let's close that out. You see, there it is. And um, so in order to do this, we have to have image data versus uh, the actual, the image itself. So if we take, um, let me use an if let here, which is optional binding. So image data is going to equal dog image view dot image and then dot png data. So this is how you're going to get the data uh, for a lot of sharing. Um, if you're sharing it to other apps, you're going to have to pull the data out or if you're going to like, there's a lot of situations where you have to use things like this. Um, so it's, it's been really useful for me. Now I'm going to go and so that basically, uh, you know, if you're familiar with optional binding, that makes sure that like that we don't have to force unwrap this this PNG data, because if we did and the unwrap didn't work, if the if the asset wasn't there, it would just crash the app. So it's really useful to have the if lets in there when you can. Uh, so with optionals, you want you want to make it as safe as possible. That's really the point of optionals. Um, really glad that Swift is focused on those things. Now, I want to add attachment data, and it's going to be image data, of course. The type identifier is just going to be public.data, and the file name, uh, this file name is actually, it's called nav.stick.png. Um, and that's, you know, my dog's name is Maverick, so it's Mav for short. And we're going to set the message compose delegate to self. And now it's time to present the message VC. And this is pretty much how you present any other view controller. And uh, one, one last thing we need to do here is uh, we need to make sure that you can send text. So actually, this has to be tested on your personal phone and not a simulator uh, because it can't send messages, obviously. So uh, that's pretty easy to do. You just go if ms message compose view controller dot can send text, and that's a bool that Apple uses to check. And then you want to put all this stuff in here. Now if you copy, if you cut and paste, it will format it properly, which is really nice. Now um, you're going to have an else here, and that's for if it can't send. And you want to, you know, usually you pop something up to the user. But usually you prop, pop something up to the user and say, hey, you know, it doesn't work or whatever. You know, check out these things. Maybe you could be fixing, but message couldn't be sent just for for you know our our use here. Um, this works, so we're we're pr pretty much done with this. Uh, now we're going to move on to the protocol stub, which is the uh, the did finish with result. And there's a few there's a few things here. It's a it's a switch case kind of situation, um, and we're going to switch result, which up here is is the result here, um, and the case is going to be we have a few we have canceled, failed, and sent. So uh, let's let's create a use case for each one of them. Print message was canceled and then we want to dismiss the view controller so that's a simple dismiss animated true completion nil um, <coughs> excuse me and next we want to use another case and that one is failed and so that's just if, if it fails obviously and we're going to print message failed 
And then we're going to once again dismiss a major true completion nil. And then we're going to create another case that is sent. And in this case, we're going to print, you guessed it, message sent, capital S. And we're going to dismiss view controller, completion nil, and default because they want one. I'm just going to put break. All right, so, and uh, y'all did it. Congrats, guys. You should be able to share messages. Uh, make sure to test this on your phone instead of a simulator, like I said earlier, because the simulator can't send messages. And, uh, yeah, check out my other videos. Hit me up on Miles of Tweets on uh, Twitter if you want to ask me any questions about doing this or, uh, you know, just shouting at me for having the volume so loud in the beginning of this video. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thanks, everybody.